Hi everyone, I thought I would show you all Bambi's toys today. Um, a few people have asked for similar requests like her organisation but because she's a house rabbit it's all inside a general cupboard um, and it has like shoes and all sorts in but um, it's pretty dark in there so I just thought I would bring them out here and show you. It's much easier. So I got this, um, it's called like a peg basket or something and I got it from Pound Shop and it was like obviously a pound <laughs> so just thought I'd take you through some in here so in here I mainly have plastic toys and toys that she uses in a run Hello. so she's had quite a few of these um, and she really likes it thank you it's really noisy but she really likes this one you hear her throwing it about when she's outside um, and that one come from actually I just got this one in pet warehouse haul or something you can wear it so I think you've seen that one. Another one I've got is this one from Pound Shop and it's quite similar. Wait. Are you demonstrating? Good girl. But yeah, she really likes that one. You can get them from Wilkinson's as well. Ah, uh -uh, come out of there. I have two of these. Um, this one's full of hair. But um, this one I got from Pound Shop and she has one in a her cage and then we have one that I put in a run which is she's chewed quite a bit she quite likes that one Bambi what's this so yep yeah, she's got them what else has she got she's got quite a few of these links which came from the pound shop and I think most of you will have seen these this was like a boys type and there's the pink ones she has some of these hanging in a run and I like plastic toys for outside because if they get rained on they don't get dirty or anything I have another bell toy here and this is actually a bird toy but um yeah got that one from Wilkinson's and it was a pound so that's pretty cool and she likes that but I don't tend to leave it out because come here escaping don't tend to leave it out because it'll go rusty where you go in no cheeky um, another thing I tend to put out in her run is this and I'm going to stuff it with hair or veggies and things so that's everything in that box except for a toilet roll stuffed with hair so I'll put these over here make room for the rest there we go so then I have a veggie patch and you will have all seen these. Mine looks slightly different because I actually um, fixed it. She loves this. This is probably one of the best investments in rabbit toys. Because Bambi is qu quite fussy with the toys which she really likes this. And um, I paid a bit, I paid £10 for from Pets at Home. But you can get it for about £5 on Viova I think. But she pulled all of this stuff off and I just glued some um, willow sticks on it which is actually, there's a step by step on my blog but I don't really go on that much now but I'll put the link below. Hello. Hello, you got all your toys. So then, um, moving on to her favourite toy ever is, I'll put it back there, is this carrot um, tree. She really loves this. She likes sort of standing on it and shredding it. Um, this was really cheap. I paid seven pound or seven fifty or five of it for it. I think it's gone up now. It's about eight pound now. But um, best thing I've ever bought for her because you can fill a bottom with hair. You could put these links around the base of it. You can tie new things to it. Put jingle balls in it. It's just so versatile and. Yeah, she really likes that. That's probably one of her favourite toys. So then, moving on to her last box, which is this. So, move some stuff over. What are you doing? Come here. Come out the way the wires. Come on. So, in this box, she has several stuff. So, we've got a bag here. Now, bags are really good for rabbits. Make sure it's made out of something natural. And in here, I just have what's left of a pumice stone because she loves chewing that, and um, some shredder, and actually a little bit of veg patch. So yeah, we've got that. 
entertaining yourself. She's like, all these toys. What else do I have in here? So now I have some wooden blocks. You will have seen these in my other videos. They're just from Pound Shop. It's not really a favourite thing, but um, sometimes I'll put a few out for her when we've got playtime or when she's in a run. Don't chew that, do you? No, don't be chewing that. What else do we have in here? I have um, a garland and it's quite pretty and again I just sort of dangle it round the carrot patch normally. The carrot patch, the carrot tree thing. Then I have some lollipops from Hop, Nibble and Squeak. Um, the hamster did have this but it paid no attention so I thought I'd give them to Bambi. And they look really pretty in a cage and she quite likes them. Next I have a Woody's Caterpillar which the gerbils had but they only chewed the antenna. Um, they actually chewed the string so I put fresh string on and thought I'd give it to Bambi because it's quite a nice um, sort of toy she can mouth and throw about and things. Little monkey. Then I have just um, a little pink chew from Chinchilla's Two Shop. Then we have another Hop, Nibble and Squeak toy and this is um, Sissel and a wooden block. And she, she's had a good chew at the Sissel. Sis. She quite likes Sissel and things like that. And then we have two more balls. I have one of the wooden ones which my gerbils absolutely love chewing these. So what I tend to do is give them for Bambi for a little while. And then just for variety and then give them to the gerbils to eventually kill. No. Stay on here, monkey. And the last thing I've got, which I haven't given yet because it's really pretty, and I've been putting it off slightly, is a pink ball from Chinchilla 2 Shop. Because I know once she gets it, it will be destroyed. She really likes Sissel. But yeah, that's all of her toys. Um, and as you can see, there's sort of plastic wood and then corn sort of leaf type things. Bambi, what are you doing? So yeah, that's all of her stuff, guys. And her wooden toys are kept in this and um, her plastic toys are just keep in here. And these are really good for pet storage because you can keep fleece in them or anything and they're really cheap. I do have some sort of wooden kebab thing there. She also has some kebabs, but they're in a cage and yeah. Hey, Bambas. Hello. <coughs> so that's all of the toys. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. And um, out of all of them, I can honestly say she likes bell toys and things she can really get hold of and get a mouth round for things like this. And um, the veg patch and the carrot tree are probably, if you're thinking about buying this and you've got a picky rabbit like Bambi, you're not sure if they'll actually play with it. I would definitely suggest buying it. It's definitely worth investing in and even if they chew it to pieces you could just buy some fresh sisal and wrap it round fresh so it's pretty repairable and the same with the carrot patch. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed taking a look at all of Bambi's toys. You're spoiled. You want a spoiled bunny rabbit. Look, look how much toys you have. Spoiled. Okay, I'm going to go now. <laughs> Bye.